Hello, darlings, and welcome to Care Off Book. I'm Care Darling, and my dreams are coming true. When I heard The Princess Diaries 3 got the green light, my reaction was immediate. Shut up. So let's dive into what we know so far and then keep talking because I'm beyond excited to see where Amelia Minuet Thermopolis Rinaldi, Princess of Genovia, is now. The first film came out in 2001 with Anne Hathaway, Julie Andrews, Hector Elizondo, Mandy Moore, Sandra O. Oh. Uh, no, sir. Mm -hmm. no information. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Queen is coming. And more. Then in 2004, we got Princess Diaries 2, Royal Engagement, which introduced Chris Pine as Nicholas Devereaux and John Rice Davies as Viscount Mabry. What a vulgar, low, despicable, political trick. I know I shouldn't get my hopes up because it's not in production. There is no release date, but I am so excited anyways. Anne Hathaway is officially back as Mia for The Princess Diaries 3. She confirmed her return on Instagram, proving that miracles happen once in a while. Now, when it comes to her former co-stars, we're still in the dark about whether Julie Andrews or Chris Pine will return. When Pine was on Today with Hoda and Jenna, um, they were asking him to, like, are you going to reprise the role? And his response was, I don't know anything. Uh, I don't know anything. I, I, I think it's... I, I, don't you look you don't know anything. <laughs> you have a you major. You are. Her. You are Princess Diaries. But you well, can't do Princess Diaries sweet. without you. No, they can't. God. Both Jenna and Hoda were quick to insist that he has to return since his character is such a big part of the story. Here's some things that people have said. If we have to drag Chris Pine by his man bun <laughs> and, and flip phone oh, to the set, <laughs> I wish we could read more of these. So be it. He needs to come back. I'm so curious. And also, dang, he looks so good. And I'm so curious to know what is his dynamic with his uncle now in that world. Like, bring him in. In. He did say something along the lines of, honestly, I don't know anything about it. I think it's fantastic, Pine said, keeping the mystery alive. As for Julie Andrews, the legendary queen herself addressed the idea of a third film back in 2022. She told Access Hollywood, I think we know that it's probably not going to be possible. It was talked about very shortly after the sequel came out. But it's now been how many years and I am that much older and Annie the princess or queen is so much older and I'm not sure where it would float or run. Still, Anne Hathaway is eager to have Andrews involved, so fingers crossed. Which I agree. Now listen, Julie Andrews, oh, I'm sorry, Dame Julie Andrews is 89. So she's almost in her 90s. So I understand. But I swear if this movie then says that Queen Clarice passed, absolutely not. I don't want to see that. I mean, I'd love to see her living her best life with Joe, maybe giving Mia advice over the phone. And of course, by the end of the movie, she makes a grand entrance and delivers the iconic line, The a queen, queen is never, is late. never late. Everyone, Everyone else is simply, is simply early. early. Hathaway herself even said, if there's any way to get Julie Andrews involved, I think we would make it work. We could go to where she was, put a green screen behind her and just make it happen. Make it work. Go, go, go. Do it. Work, work, work. Make it work. The first two films were directed by Gary Marshall, who had this special touch that made everything funny, heartwarming, and of course, romantic. In old films, whenever a girl gets seriously kissed, her foot would just kind of pop. Sadly, he's no longer with us, so the big question is, who's taking the director's chair, and will they bring the same magic back? The answer is Adele Lim. You might know her work from Raya and The Last Dragon or Crazy Rich Asians. She made her directorial debut with Joyride in 2023, and now she's taking on The Princess Diaries 3. We don't know much about the plot yet, but it's supposed to be a continuation of the story, not a reboot, especially now that Hathaway's on board. And listen, this is what I don't want to see. I don't want to see that Mia is queen and then she had a daughter and then we have to follow the daughter because it's Princess Diaries and technically she's now the princess. I don't want that. 
I'm so over reboots where the characters we loved are suddenly sidelined to make room for their kids and the whole story ends up revolving around them. It's like they wiped out all the nostalgia we actually came for and I feel duped. I want The Princess Diaries 3 to stay focused on Mia and whatever new obstacles she's facing, whether it's choosing between duty and love or even dealing with a potential war. Just give me the next chapter of her story, not a whole new one I didn't ask for. Bring Mandy Moore back and I want her to continue being a villain. Now that could be fun. Lana becoming a famous singer and coming to Genovia for a big performance, making Mia feel like she's right back in high school again. Of course it does! Something similar to the movie You Again, and honestly, I'm so here for it. Maybe there could be something with Michael. Now, it's in the second movie, it was like, oh, well, he's in a band and it just didn't. What if Lana was the singer in his band and she's on good terms with him? Like, yeah, I liked him in high school, but I clearly moved on. Also, keep in mind, Michael is her best friend's brother, right? So... It's like things are fine, but then Lana is in the band. And it's like, because why would she even invite Lana to come to Genovia, all this stuff? So then it just turns into this weird sort of like dealing with your past and who you are now, or ha did you really evolve? Oh my gosh. Do they need anyone to help with the script? I'm so down. <laughs> Anyway, I'd love to know what you think about The Princess Diaries 3. Are you as excited as I am or do you have your own concerns? I want to hear all about it. Like even I'm like Kelly Clarkson, are you gonna do a song for it? I mean, okay, I still love the song, the I'm Supergirl and I'm here to save the world, but I wanna know who's gonna save me. Let me know if you just sang that with me. And if you did, I'm so proud of you. We're into it. Oh. Love to know your thoughts. If you enjoy musicals, Disney, and other performances, don't forget to like and subscribe uh, because I'm obsessed and I can't stop talking about it. Um, so I shall continue this passion, obsession I have. Take care, darling.